Hi guys, it's Audi Gaming here and welcome back to my channel. Now today's video is going to be slightly different to what we normally do. Because of the support you have all given me, I was invited by Outright Games, the creators of the legendary Paw Patrol, Ben 10 and many more games that we're going to be playing on this uh, channel. Um, they invited me to play hands-on the new upcoming releases and let's just say I was super, super excited for a little pink animal friend that me and my daughter have to watch all the time and that is a lovely pepper pig thank you so much to everyone at swipe right pr and outright games for inviting me and you guys for supporting me and sharing the love we get to play as the newest character of the Peppa Pig franchise, and that is yourself. You get to create your own character and play with Peppa Pig herself. We get to go to all the different locations that we are familiar with and we all love, and those such as the, the Snowy Mountains, Peppa's House, which of course, you, you know, most of the episodes are in Peppa's House, and you even get to travel to Potato City. So that's cool. One amazing thing that I found out with this game um, when talking to the Outright Game teams um, and going through the playtest is the Peppa Pig voice actor is the same voice actor that we got in the cartoon. So everyone's going to recognise the voice. So not only do I recognise the character, my daughter recognises the character straight away and it's just amazing. It's just so nice to be able to bring the TV show into a, a game where we can all play together and enjoy. I would recommend playing this game with your child just to help them get used to the controls and how you can go back and forth. But once they learn how to do that, I think they're pretty much fine to be a game that they can play by themselves. My biggest thing that I love about this game is we get to build our own character. I get to be my own Peppa Pig character. There isn't any owl options, unfortunately, but we have got a lot of customizations you can do we get to play with peppa pig and play with all of our friends we you know it's so bright and colorful and we get to make our own story it's absolutely brilliant i really love this game as soon as it got announced honestly you've got all these ps5s you've got xbox series x's you've got all these games that are trying to run it 4k frames per second but honestly this is the game that i am pre-ordering and getting ready to buy straight away as soon as it come out so that being said, that was Peppa Pig. This game just launched this autumn for Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, and, of course, the PC. Um, this is one of the games that I am going down to my local game shop and pre-ordering as soon as I can because I cannot wait to dive into this even more than what I got to play. That's my view on Peppa Pig. Now, are you ready to get your PJs on and dive straight in and save the city with the one and only... PJ masks, let's go. Now you got your PJs on, it's time to become Catboy, Owlet and Gecko. This game, when I played it, felt very much like a side scroller, like the old school Mario and Sonic, but instead of being Mario with his plumber skills and Sonic with his super speed, you've now got to be Catboy with his super speed, Owlet with his super flying moves and the mighty Gecko's muscles to stop all the bad guys at night time. The bad guys in this game are Romeo, Luna Gill, Night Ninja, and possibly you get to see more villains. You get to explore eight PJ Masks locations from the city, Mystery Mountains, all the way to the moon. The game's all about friendship, teamwork, and of course, you've got to go and find the hidden collectibles. I did find when playing this game, the controls are very basic and simple, meaning that they are designed for the little heroes so they can partake without keep asking you every five minutes what's the control what does this button do so i really did enjoy that <laughs> the game is released october the 29th on pc xbox one ps4 and nintendo switch i cannot wait to get my feathers on this and help owl it with the adventure right that was my look on pjms i don't want to give away too much information on all the games that we are showcasing on this uh, video today because we are going to be recording on all of them on this channel so if you do want to support and want to see any more content then please subscribe to the channel it just mean a lot that being said it is time to warm up for the next installment and that is blade a whole new f series to me a whole new franchise i've never really watched any of them i don't really know much about them other than blaze is a red monster truck but playing this game, thanks to Outright Games, it was so, so good. Now, I'm just going to put it straight out there. The game is a very, very simple 
I would recommend it as a first racing game if you want to get your little ones involved in a racing game and they're not really used to racing car games. Very simple racing game, very similar to Ryan's World that was made previously by Outright Games. Um, and like the Mario Kart series where you have to use power-ups like speed boosts and perform stunts to get the upper hand on your opponents. You do get to customise your characters. I don't really know too much about the characters, like I said previously, because when I did play it, I didn't really know who they were, but I got to customise them, um, add certain abilities to help me outsmart the competition. So when I did get around to playing this, um, like I said before, it's very simple controls, very easy to pick up, and if you want your little one to start diving into their first ever racing car game, I highly recommend this, even if it's not their, like, their normal style of game. Blaze is a perfect one for all ages. Um, aimed more towards the younger age groups of course, but anyone can play The biggest thing for this game that I enjoyed the most um, Not knowing any of the characters um, was the stem educational features that they've got I Inside the game like when this load screen instead of just like a random image um, Of the cars which would be nice enough. They add little facts and they obviously repeat the facts um, So we'll end up you end up learning something like Blaze was saying, a pattern is when something repeats over and over again in the same order. And you know, that is a pattern, and it's just it's little things like that I really did enjoy. And the more and more you played in the game, you unlock different facts, and they just automatically like looped into the loading screen, so you didn't have to add them, but it was like a nice little reward to unlock after you've raced, so I really did enjoy it. This game has also been released in October. Um, it's going to be available on PC, Xbox One, PS4, and the Nintendo Switch. Now it's time to hold on to your seats because going off a racing game, we're going straight into another racing game. This is the one and only Fast and Furious Spy Racers Rise of Shifter. Now, I'm just going to go straight into it. Let's go. So, this game definitely brings the intense action from the show to a video game. And you can see of how mental and how fast paced this game can be right, so i'm gonna put this straight out there i did not know that fast and furious did a, a cartoon animated series afterwards like a spin-off i love the fast and furious series anyway like the film franchise is one of my favorite and uh, there's so much action and jam-packed stuff and this game carries on and delivers that action pack so so like the blaze game where it's quite simple uh, this game is definitely got a lot more action fast paced uh, for example you've got more features uh, out of all the outright games that have been showcased in this video this is the only game that has online multiplayer so i cannot wait to get some races going with you guys because we will be recording some videos on this game as soon as it comes out so if you guys would like to join in please subscribe and let me know on twitter or something if you'd like to join in um there's lots of different abilities each car and each character has their own unique ability. It doesn't mean because you've got the fastest looking car, you're going to win. Um, as we found out when the devs were playing this game and show, showed us, even the fastest car with the best weapon can still lose. Um, obviously, depending on the difficulty, uh, you can simple it down so you can get the wins and make it a lot easier. But there is lots of different weapons. In fact, there's 15 Spy Gear different weapons inspired by the Netflix series. I did not even know that this had a Netflix series. So, in my spare time and when this video is uploading, I am going to be sitting and watching some Netflix series. So, I cannot wait to dive in and watch that. It's amazing how they've got the same voice actors from the series to the game as well. I really, really love it when they do that and they're able to do that because it means that we are familiar with the characters a bit more than just getting some random person to voice act. And I do enjoy it when the games do get voice acting, not just a picture. Um, so, I do appreciate that. The whole point of this game, you have got to stop the Shifter Gang taking over and getting the ultimate prize. Now, they're a gang of some mean people that take up, take all the money from the bank. They steal everyone's ice cream, you know, that old, that old chestnut. Um, imagine what they could do with a card that goes completely invisible and is totally undetectable. You could just imagine they're going to take over massively quick so it's up to you and the spy gang to take out as many as you can and beat them and stop them winning the prize honestly i cannot wait for this game to come out and um, it was so jam-packed um things were getting paint on them then one car was getting shot with like this bazooka looking thing and then once you do all these races and you know you've done all the action-packed racing 
you can chill out in the main hub and with the stuff that you've earned from racing and you can actually make your the main it's like the main screen you can make it all pretty colors and buy different um, like sofas and vendor machines to make it look unique and customize it that way so i'm really excited to dive in and i cannot wait to race some of you guys that being said thank you so much for outright games and swipe right pr for inviting me to these events and of course you guys for sharing the love and subscribing to the channel and tweeting out and just doing everything that you can do hopefully as well you do enjoy the new model of owly this is how we're going to look from now on um so hopefully you do enjoy that i cannot wait to dive into some of these games with you i like i said i didn't want to give away too much information to, for some of them because i really just want to dive in and play them myself and i can't wait and thank you outright games for just making some amazing family friendly games which I'm glad to be a part of and to be invited to these events. I really do appreciate it so much. That being said, if you do enjoy any outright games, you're looking forward to any, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we will be playing lots of them. In fact, we're finishing off our Paw Patrol episodes and then I think we're diving into Spirit, maybe even Ben 10, I think, maybe the next one. I'm not too sure. You guys can help me decide. That being said, have a good rest of your day. Thank you so much and bye!